Hello and welcome to Bitcoin 10x. Hi guys, so we have a uh, crypto insiders group that I have on WhatsApp. Um, we went from about four or five people, we're now 10 or 12 strong, in fact. We're we're probably more than that right now. It's a small group. However, what they've all done is gone onto my YouTube channel, which is what you're watching right now, and they've all joined my crypto group. And I've had seven or eight new members this week. The idea behind this channel is not to bombard you with all of the material that's in crypto. It's simply to say, these coins are doing well right now. Some of them are price predictions, some are not. Some of them are just Bitcoin analysis and Ethereum and where they're going to go. Others will be, these coins are hot and this is my price prediction. Now I have about 30 coins on my radar this year. Most of those are top 100 on CoinGecko. And what we're saying is there's certain price predictions that they're gonna reach by the end of this year. Now if I tell you one of them, it's Engine. And Engine is set to go to $200 by the end of this year. Now how do I know that? Tika Tawari. Tika Tawari did five coins to five million at the beginning of 2020. That was in March. He has since done two more predictions, a seven coins to seven million and a six coins to six million. So he's piling out all of these tokens. However, one of the original ones was Engine. And I do believe that is gonna to go to $200 this year. Not only that, I do believe Status and Streamer are also gonna follow suit. I'm a little bit dubious about new, uh, Numeraire. I don't think Numeraire is going to make me a millionaire, so I pulled my money out at the end of last year. Three of the five coins to five million are still in my top 30 tokens for 2021. One of the reasons why I'm doing this video is not a lot of people understand DeFi. So you hear this ERC20 token is doing really well. It's attached to DeFi, DeFi is going to explode as an altcoin party. So people will stretch all of those into one sentence. ERC20, DeFi and altcoin. How do you know what we're talking about? So this is a quick and basic terminology layout. So DeFi is decentralized finance. Decentralized finance is something where a project or a token belongs to crypto. And within that token or project, there are no third parties controlling that project. That means they are in the system to solve a problem. And one of them is getting away from uh, the government and legislations and so forth. So they create their own decentralized finance and therefore they, they have a technology that solves a problem in the industry. It could be a code problem, it could be a sharding issue like Ethereum, you, get, you have tokens out there like Solano, Polkadot, they're all trying to solve problems with high fees and slow connection problems with the transfer of crypto. So basically DeFi is decentralized to keep it away from um, securities and other people taking money. So one of the reasons why XRP has been sued is because SEC is classing it as a, as a government controlled token. Now, if it is found that it is government controlled, XRP will probably fall through the floor. And SEC is only concentrating on XRP because it was the top three token. So you had Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then XRP. That's now not the case. XRP is now fourth, or it was fourth the last time I checked. So majority of the tokens that you'll be looking at in the top 100 are all attached to Ethereum. And Ethereum basically controls all of the tokens below it simply because it's the holder of the ERC. ERC20 is a digital contract that can be used anywhere in the world. And once it's been signed for and the code has been dealt with, you cannot then go and amend that code. So Ethereum solved everyone's problem right at the start is that you can put money into Ethereum and watch your money grow. And certainly with all of the altcoins below that, um, like Engine and Holo Token and others, all of the tokens that attach themselves to Ethereum, if they were 0.004 pence per token and they get to $1, you make a hell of a lot of money. 
but the fees, the fees were the problem with Ethereum, is that the more volatility in the system, the higher the fees. And that's where Polkadot and Solano are trying to come in to fix the problem. Not only that, Cardano is another force to be, to be reckoned with. And it's set to be the next Bitcoin. So Bitcoin right now is $40,000. So if you was to buy Cardano right now and hold it for 10 years, it may be worth $40,000 per token. So you could get out at the end of October of this year or nearing the end of October. You want to get out just before everyone else does. And then after this cycle, get back into Cardano when it drops, when the, the token drops again. And this is essentially how people are making money in crypto. They get into a recognized token, which is Ethereum. You swap your funds over to a, an altcoin and an altcoin is basically the, the spider web of Ethereum and all of the blockchain is that they've attached themselves with a solution to a problem. It can make you money and they have a technology that's going to be seen across many industries, across many companies over the next 10 years. And their value, their team and the technology is what's pushing their projects. So this, as far as crypto is concerned, is everything you need to know about the investment. The other side of the investment is how much money you're going to make. Now this can only be determined by you. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. However, once you find the token, and maybe you've seen it on this channel, maybe you've seen it on other channels, it's then your job to try and find out how much money you're going to make. Again, Tika Twari was one of the ones that I tipped um, for some of my tokens. However, I only chose three. I only chose three that were cheap enough for my circle and my channel to go and buy. So you might hear things like Dashcoin, Dashcoin, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be potentially again the next Bitcoin. And it's one of the only tokens that are actually attached to Bitcoin. All of the other tokens that I talk about, or majority of them, are all attached to Ethereum. However, Dashcoin is not always affordable for, for the mass. So it could range anywhere between 50 and 100 pounds. But a lot of people, that's all the money they have. So if they can take 50 pounds, and buy 100 tokens or 100,000 tokens, that's my market. So my market right now is telling people what to buy for as little as possible, but for as many tokens as possible. That's a real token, a real team, and a real chance of making a hell of a lot of money at the end of this year. So guys, that's what this channel is about. I hope you understand a little bit more about it. There are roughly 60 videos in my channel right now, uh, taking out the music channels. However, at the end of this year, I would hope to have 160 videos by December of this year. And by that time, you will know what I've been talking about, whether it's true or not. So keep watching. I'm gonna be blasting through some of the top 100 tokens and bringing out new material. I'm also gonna give more price predictions on the tokens I delivered last year to see where they were on the day I did the video, where they are now, and if I still think the price prediction is where it's going to be at the end of this year so guys if you are enjoying the content please like the video and subscribe bye bye